Hey guys, this is ZetoFan27 with a tutorial on masking in Sony Vegas Studio. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to want to import my clip. And once I've imported the clip, you know, I can go to the part where I'm going to want to highlight a wall or do something really cool, you know, kind of like just to match with the audio, have it synced up like what was done in It Was Lux Montage. So I actually get a killtacular double shot here, and I'm going to want to go to the point where I want it to highlight. And, for instance, I want this wall to highlight at this point, and then just like a couple frames later, I want this to highlight, and then I want my guy to highlight right here that I'm double shotting. So what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to make a copy of this, of this video track. I'm going to want to insert a new video track and make sure it's on top, and I want to paste that there. Okay? So, when I get to the point where I'm going to get that killtacular or where I want it to begin, say I want it to begin right here, when the first part highlights, let me get to right there. All I'm going to want to do, let me zoom in right here, split my clip for my video, just for that video track. Okay, and then I only want it to occur till that point, so I'm just going to split it again. Okay, and I'm going to keep zooming in. And what you want to do is you want to go to your event pan crop properties right here. And once you're here, it's going to look like this, okay? And what you really want to do is just do a mask. And this mask is what's going to allow you to select certain spot or certain, you know, area within your video to choose to change. And typically, I'd say I'd recommend just to do it for still photos, but since I'm just doing this for the tutorial, I'll pretend this is a still photo of it, when it just, this is an actual frame. Because what you're doing is you're masking a frame, and I'm just going to start drawing this. As you see, you just use your pen tool to draw this. But what you're actually doing is you're just masking a frame, and you're not technically masking the video. What this does is it'll leave this part of the video just this part of the video highlighted and chosen to whatever you would like to do with it. So once I get to this point, I want to make sure I connect the dots. You're just connecting the dots, and that this part right here, as, as you see, everything else is dark because this part right here is highlighted. Okay, and you won't notice a difference right here until you add a really cool effect. So, you know, I've seen people add different effects. You can add a brightness change. Um, I've seen anything from inversion. Let's just look at this because you can clearly see what's going on. See, so see how that plays through? How it just kind of inverts itself right there? But see see how it's kind of off sync right there? That's why I say I don't recommend to do it for lots of video things unless you absolutely have to. You just have to go frame by frame and mask it. But pretty much, see right there is where I had it masked. And that's where it's going to highlight. And another thing, I used inversion right there, but you can use stuff like glow glow effects work or brightness adjustments to get that montage look from it was luck so that's how you would do that and for instance you know I'm, you're just gonna do that for every single guy that you want every single part that you want so just keep keep it up keep masking and if you guys have any more questions feel free to post in this thread